Lead strips are becoming more and more popular between uh, aquarium keepers. It's an easy and cheap way to light an aquarium. And I'm going to teach you some tricks today and how to connect the lead strips, how to attach new wires to the lead strip. You can do that very easy way using these uh, clip-on connectors or a slightly harder way using a soldering gun and, um, and some uh, soldering here. So first I'm going to talk about uh, safety. The, the lead strips are waterproof, meaning they are IP54 protection class. They are coated with a clear coat of silicone or something like that which does not let the water enter the lead strip. All of my lead strips are being used with a 12 volt driver, 12 volt DC. It's not dangerous. You cannot get electricity with uh, 12 volts. So I know, it, I know that there are higher volts and AC volts uh, running. Lead strips do not use that uh, near water because you can definitely get electrocuted. Use only the 12 volts DC power LED strips. Mm, they are uh, different sizes. Those that uh, you see here, they are 8 millimeters in width. And uh, the LEDs are uh, 35. 3520 weight in size so 35 like so and then 28 like so yeah you can find bigger ones 50 50 leads i don't have uh, anything like that to show you so let me get this uh, whatever out and I'm going to show you how to connect two LED strips like this. So guys, the first thing you need to do is to remove the water protection. So I'm going to use a cutter for this job, but you must be really careful not to cut all the way down to the LED strip because you will damage the connection underneath. I, I've done that sometime. So, just a little bit of uh, pressure here. I cut it. Let me put this underneath. Okay, so now try to with your fingers. Too late, you see. I already cut it, so I have to try again now. So, like with this occasion, I can show you how to cut the lead strips. You can cut them every three leads, where you can see the connection here. Some of them have like a little scissor on them. You see it? They can be they can be cut right here. You can do that with a scissor. So because I cut all the way through here, I cannot use this piece again. So I'm going to be cutting this. No, I'm not going to be cutting over there, I'm going to be cutting over here. It's like so. Just to expose the connection. So maybe this time I can manage to remove the water protection. Just a little bit of cutting here. And 
and let me see what I have here. I'm going to pull this with my finger off. I cut my nails this morning, so this is difficult. Okay. There's a little bit of silicone here left. Cutting the lead strips are, is the most difficult part because the underneath connection is very, very thin. So, like this, I have exposed the copper connection underneath the water protection. I'm going to have to, to do the same uh, thing over here. I'm left with something like this. Now that I have exposed the copper connection underneath the water protection I have to be real careful to align the negative side with the positive side you can see here this is a plus 12 volt so this is the positive side so this connector over here is going to be the plus in the neg negative is going to be this one, so I have to be careful to align them correctly with the other piece of the LED strip. So the next piece of LED strip also be must be aligned, the negative with the negative and the positive with the positive. So you can see this plus 12 volts goes to plus 12 volts and the negative side, which is this one will be connected with this one never mix those up you can burn your leads or they are simply not going to function so be really careful not, never to mix negative with positive and positive with negative they only go together so after you decided which way is which You can connect those two pieces of LED strips without using any soldering, only with this clip-on connector. So let me show you what is inside here. So you open this up. like so, open them all, like this, so you can see another connectors in here, which is going to make the connection from the negative side of one LED strip to the other negative side of one LED strip, and the positive to the positive, and those tiny guys here, are going to keep the lead strip in place I have been so you can see here they also have markings for negative for positive and negative so this is why uh, it helps you not to mix negative and positive I have been using this type of connector connect, uh, connectors they are easy to use and easy to install but they are not that great they, they create an imperfect connection here so in electricity connections must be perfect otherwise you get uh, power loss and the lead strip will, will flicker or not light up at all so I decided to take those kind of connectors off my lead strips and uh, solder them using uh, this kind of uh, material 
So this is thin, I believe, for soldering. But now I'm going to show you the easy way to do this. So let's see. Like I said, be careful for the positive and the negative. Let me see what's showing here. So this is the positive right here, plus. So I have the plus here. So this is a eight millimeter connector. So this is an eight millimeter red strip. I also have 10 millimeters connector connectors who, which are bigger and are used for bigger LED strips, the ones that have 50-50 LEDs. So I'm going to try to put this in here and make sure that you see this. You have to align those two little dots there with the connectors gently push them there sometimes I think I have to remove more of the water protection because it's getting in the way this will not be necessary with soldering but it's necessary now so I'm going to do it So let me try this again, remember, positive goes to positive and negative to negative, so this is good. Now I have removed it a little bit more of the water protection, so I'm going to have to push this strip in here. I have to push it to enter all the way back there, so I can do this in front of the camera because I'm going to use a needle to gently pull this uh, to the left manage it so you gotta be sure that it's a firm and good connection like this positive negative so right after that you're going to push this down until you hear the click perfect and now we're going to do the same. Where is that? And now we're going to do the same with the other LED strip. I'm going to have to push it here. Be careful. Positive, negative. Always check that. The positive is here. You can see it here. Plus. And plus over there. So this is good. This. It's not a good connection. This is why I hate this this connector type. You can now see that it's not that easy to make to to install. Anyway, I'm going to seal this up. Okay. So it looks something like this. It's not pretty straight. Like so. So this is how you connect a LED strip with a solderless uh, connector, a clip-on connector. This is something that I did at the beginning. You see the connection, the clip-on connector here. I put some silicon on it so water couldn't get in. Of course, it did and some little pieces here because i didn't want to waste anything this brand over here it's very high quality it makes a, a bright light so let's see if this one works so it is working you see some lead do not light up here you see so this is basically the problem with this clip-on connector connector uh, connector it creates an imperfect electrical electrical connection 
so I was having a lot of problems like this. See? If you can manage to hold them in place and not move them, they'll gonna work. But if you move the lid, like we all do in aquariums, they're not going to work so good. Of course, I have too many connections in here. You only have to measure once, uh, measure uh, twice and cut once. Not like me. See, not not that good. So the best solution is to solder them, and I'm going to show you that 